All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right, we gotta get a vantage point. So that's it for... Is that it for this area? Is there more here? I can hardly see. Okay, take the stairs. Clearly there's more to look at if we keep looking. Hopefully we're not gonna get jumped by the time, because it did mention prepare for attack, implying that we are now not preparing for an attack. What is it? Where have I seen this emblem before? Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription reveals that it belongs to Bobby Hackett. What is it? A ring with the crest on it. Oh, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Thanks. You can't even read it. You just have to read it in the thing to find out that it's Bobby's. They're all about family here. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Hey, could be good. Could be good. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, uh, RIP microphone. I was thinking we could do the really high-pitched sounds again, just in case, you know? Because it seemed to work pretty okay last time. But maybe not well enough. What's this? Trail cam footage. It's like they're looking for something. Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room. He's storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Hard to remember who knows what, since we know everything. Trail cam footage. Archive trail cam footage from Hackett Woods, dating back six years. Ever since the fire happened. Full moon. June 2021. This is pretty good vantage point, isn't it? Hey, is the mirror made of silver? Hope it is. Wait, so this side and the other side are different then. This doesn't lead to the other side. We gotta go back and check that side as well. It's actually... Is the sun rising a little bit? I can see. A little bit. Might be more the thunderstorm though. Get back over here. can't go up. <laughs> I didn't see. Okay. Well, I guess that means we are ready to prepare. Well, so what was the whole like putting the blood on the face thing then? And why were Bobby and his dad hunting other werewolves? Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That meets for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Stroud and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words. <sighs> the 
train stopped. Oh, that's... Well, the window was pointless. Showtime, motherfuckers. Yeah! No! No! <laughs> Give me back, Caitlin! No. Oh my god. Oh! Oh god. You're alive. Yeah, well, don't sound so disappointed. What the hell happened to you? Where are the others? What the hell happened to you? No, okay, everyone's sort of everywhere. We need to get somewhere safe. Yeah, sure, whatever. Dude, what's up? What do you what do you mean what's up? Look around. You're being all weird and mopey. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Spill it. Don't kill it. Dude, what the hell? Like, Emma is covered in blood and he doesn't even show any concern. He's like, oh, Emma, and then that was it. <laughs> Jacob, stop. We don't need this right now, okay? I don't know what's your problem. Is your problem that you didn't get to play the night rescuing Emma? If it is, I'm gonna be angry, okay? Because after, in the beginning of the night, if you were doing that, fine. At the end of the night, still doing that? No. I'm gonna feed you to the wolves, seriously. I'm sorry, okay, it's just... This isn't exactly how I pictured the last night going. Yeah, you and everybody else. Yeah. Hell of a way to end the summer, huh? Man, how did it come to this? Does Emma even know what happened to her? Uh, Earth to Jacob? What's happening right now? Come on, Jake. Okay, shit. Um, I gotta come clean. Um, what do you mean? Shit. Uh, Emma. Look, it's my fault we're stuck out here. Oh, Jake. I. I mess with the fan. You know, when I realized we were seeing another night, this is exactly what I worried about. I know, I know, I'm so, and I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean for any of this to happen, okay? I just... I wanted to spend... Fuck. I wanted to spend one more night with you. You know, together, like... Like before. No, I still have feelings for you, Jacob, but this was a summer fling. That's it. We're... We're not good together. We're just not. And you didn't want to spend more time with me? I don't want to be in a relationship with you. You gotta respect that. Hmm, it's... I think you're both just looking for different things. Like, some people date only with um, the end goal of marrying in mind. Some people date to date. Some people don't want to date at all. And that's just... That's just what it is. But do we really have to talk about it now when Emma's covered in blood? <laughs> Does any... These two have... They don't have that much information about what's happened here, right? All they know is that there's monsters and Emma's covered in blood. That's it. Look, um... I know it's not going to make any difference, but I am sorry. Even if it means you're never going to talk to me, and I just I want you to know that. <sighs> then she'd at least have like a little fun tonight, <sighs> in spite of everything. How can you ask me that? You're a real piece of work. Look, what can I do to make this better? Jacob, there is no making this better. All you can do is hope you live long enough to take responsibility for your actions. It's not long before sunrise. All we have to do is wait it out. Can I wait with you? Oh, God. 
It's a free country, man. America. <sighs> to be fair, it's not like Jacob knew there were werewolves here. Without the werewolves, it still would have been shitty, but not this shitty. Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> what was that? Whoa! Hello. Well, so much for the window. But look, day's breaking. Day's breaking. Wait. It's a shotgun. We don't have to be precise. Okay, maybe we should have ran. <laughs> oh yeah, that little chair is gonna help. Caitlin! Oh my god. I gotta help her. What's a dead end here? Silver shells. Wait, who is that? The where's Nick? I'm gonna go for the beam. Because I'm thinking about the kitchen distraction thing. But I think normally the, the window would make more sense, trying to get out of here. Holy god, am I crazy? Why did I choose this? Where's Dylan? Does it even have the dexterity to realize how to get up here? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Hide. If we're not leaving the lodge, there's no point in running. I don't think we're leaving the lodge. Are we gonna try to shoot more shells? The thing is though, we don't have any silver shells. Oh my freaking god. Never realized how big it is. Who is that? More importantly, who is that? Nick, we don't know where Nick is. I don't wanna kill you if I don't know. The kitchen, the kitchen! Caitlin! Over here, Caitlin! Um... Caitlin, you don't have time for that, come on. Shh. Abby has silver shells. I'm just scared I might kill him, but like, what if it's Nick? Oh! Really? No? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. 
The door, the door. Oh my god. Freezer, freezer. Lock him in, we can lock him in. Yes, yes. Pretty secure. Think we're good? Woo! I say I'm here to save the people, but I've been making a lot of decisions to save the werewolves, honestly. <laughs> I just didn't know who that was, though. I don't. And even, okay, if it's Nick, definitely I want to save him. But if it's Caleb, then I might want to save him for Travis's sake, too. I'm guessing Silas would look different, so not Silas. And also because we're looking for Silas now. So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit! It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Silas didn't die in the fire. I see. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did, Every full moon we were out there looking, every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the- Um. Uh, oh, I see, the corpse, the burnt corpse was Hank. It wasn't Silas. From Eliza's flashback? Whoa, dude! Uh... Travis! Travis, get it together, come on! Laura knows a lot about crashing cars already. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, just get down! Is it that easy? He's just right here? <gasps> Go! Where did he go? He can't have just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. What the hell happened to Ryan? Let's look around. Are you crazy? Story starts with us getting out of the car. Story ends with us getting out of the car. Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Over here. 
Got some blood. Oh my god, whose clothes are those? Leads through there. Constances. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. <gasps> You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? What? Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Werewolf's blood. Werewolves don't kill other werewolves? Yeah. Let's fucking do this. Go team. has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. Oh, they don't know about this part. Eliza Vores. Silas's mother. I think. <laughs> Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Great mother. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. Mm. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. Wow. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You ever see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew? Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom, but Caleb got bit in the process. Let's not argue now. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. Six times twelve. This... This is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. 
I didn't even know this was here. Whoa. Ryan? <gasps> Careful. Shit. I'm sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Same. What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Perfectly intact poster after all these years. Why is this even... Uh, what? Why? Raise no, gun. Sure about this? Shoot. Oh, I got her. Sorry, ma'am. Please, let's just... Let's just go before we... We have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Really? Oh, I wonder why they made me hesitate so much, though. I... It makes me feel like I might have done the wrong thing. But we had to, though. There was no... This is the... the original wolf boy, as far as we know. Uh-oh. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Okay. Sorry, ma'am, but uh, if unless if you had another better solution, I w I did feel sorry for her before, because you know it is a mother and a son the whole deal. But then you were keeping your son in the cage for profit. So I don't know how to feel about that either, and I don't... Mm. Are we good? Dawn, Dawn's breaking, for sure, but... Oh, I wonder what would have happened if we didn't shoot. Maybe he would turn around and kill all of us. Why was he already hurt? Oh! Because we uh, ran him over. Max, alive! Having survived the night, Max was cured of the werewolf curse. Didn't see the rest of it. Bobby Hackett, deceased. 
Mauled to death by his werewolf brother. Sorry, man. Jedediah, massacred by his werewolf son, Chris. Do I care about these people? Chris was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, oh, shot him with silver. Ooh, Constance, deceased. Laura shot Constance in a struggle for the gun. Kaylee, dead. Killed by Laura, who mistook her for werewolf Chris. Jacob alive? Emma alive? Jacob freed from the basement, reunited with Emma in the woods. Both survived. Where's Nick? Nick survived when Laura killed Silas. Nick's werewolf Chris was lifted. So Nick was bit by Caleb then? Abigail made it to the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Caitlin survived by luring... That was Caleb in the freezer by using the lost rabbit toy left by Abby. Dylan lived to see the sunrise thanks to Caitlin trapping Caleb in the freezer. <laughs> he didn't do anything by himself. What? Oh, shoot! Oh, Caleb froze in the freezer. Oh, jeez. Travis survived and saw the end to the curse that haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with a white wolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person who survived the night. But how did Silas become a werewolf? I guess that's not really the, in the scope of this. The curse of Hackett's quarry is broken. This music is very happy. Oh, I was I was primarily focusing on saving the kids, but at the end there, when they display the Hackett family, I kind of felt like, oh, like, was I supposed to help them out too? I, oops. Psycho teens charged after summer camp massacre. What? Do you think of that? what? Psycho teens, one of my favorite punk bands. Okay, so I actually have a really hard time knowing if you're being sarcastic or not. I was being sarcastic. Okay, that actually is very on. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real life everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible to insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie, go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh god, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I had braces. I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is Ryan? going to have a bit of a show-and-tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, Stop doing a podcast. No one's listening. Oh my you should goodness. listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. Did you? You didn't open it. Anyone who... I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh! I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence. Get to the point! Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's 
bizarre or bona fide. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really, there's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do oh you my not goodness. lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You're Why are they dragging this out? Surreal, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. Take a look. Apparently, they found another body. Whoa! You can't just show me a picture of a dead body. You got to tell me before you're going to do that. Okay, then let's take this over. Anton, can I show you a picture of a dead body? No! I can't work with that, Anton. Okay, fine. Yes, you. It, it's a dead body. Okay, wh what is this? What am I looking at? It's one of the hikers that went missing. Do you remember that? Yes, that's the true part of the story. Yeah. The man? Ed Benson was his name. He was drowned in the lake. Okay, drowned or was drowned? Now you're getting grammatical. I'm not getting grammatical. If you drown, you just went swimming and you drowned. If some, if he's been drowned, then someone drowned him. Well, then I think I implied precisely what I meant to imply. Now, of course, I can't verify this info. Of but course you can't. What, do I have like a history of not verifying Yes, info? it's fake. <laughs> Okay, but this is I me writing an essay that's supposed to be 5,000 words, and I'm trying to put as many filler words as I can in it. Oh, well, do the police know about this? Are the Hackett family suspects? Okay, okay. I like that you are getting into this. Here's the thing. The newspaper says this guy's still missing, right? He looks pretty fucking found in this picture. Okay, yeah, I mean, he's not missing. He's right there, but yeah. why? Why would they say he's still missing? Because it is a conspiracy, a cover-up. Don't you see? They're all in on it. I, and who is all in on it? The Hackett family? The Hackett family, the North Kill Gazette. I told you I've been suspicious of them from the start. Okay, uh, okay, so there's the one hiker, he's dead. What about the other one? Ann Radcliffe, still missing. Who knows how many bodies are still down there, though. <sighs> I don't know. This is pretty inconclusive. I, I'm sorry that the guy drowned, but this kind of seems like a big to-do over nothing. Or is it a big undo of something, which is what a cover-up is? Okay, you can't just twist my words like that. Okay, so I anticipated your skepticism, which is why I saved this little gem for next. Finally, you're going to present me with some ghost ectoplasm. Put out your ring finger. I've got a little gem to slide onto it. What do you got? Leaked photos from the hiker's camera. Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry. So maybe they were there and then they dropped their camera. It happens all the time. Yeah, they dropped their camera whilst being murdered. And their bags were found there too. Oh, no way. Do you have a fake photo of them too? Oh, please. Okay, so you have a picture of bags. These could be anyone's bags. Well, they match up to the ones in their photos from their camera and they have a monogram of their initials. I think, at least. Or it's water damage, I can't tell. Yeah, okay. That's not nothing. I'll give you that. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well... Apparently, when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett classic bad guy name. The seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has 
great supernatural powers, uh -huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm-hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here acres we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. Okay, we're fine. What? That's it? Wait, tell me more about the psycho teens charge after summer camp massacre, though. Yeah, like, uh, we, we got a whole bunch of evidence that should say that we didn't do it, right? That's the whole reason why we were collecting that. Welcome. How could they even charge us? Yet bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. You got more? Welcome back to Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Anton, today I'm actually going to pass you some light writing. Okay, you're gonna make me read this? Mm-hmm. All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Oh. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here we go. Gammy. How long we gonna drag this shit out? It's not granny. I know family is the most important thing, but I wanna know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Oh, they didn't go Maybe to school. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more. And right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy. Or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah, no, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah. There was something going on, something eating away at her, and that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended, for now. So, I don't think that's gonna be a problem for this next one. Oh god, why? Holy shit, this is a cease and desist letter. And it's oh. addressed to us. Dude, why didn't you tell me about this? Well, it was never actually sent. That's mad oh. shit, fam. What? Signed by Travis Hackett. We're not doing anything illegal. Aren't we? Think about it. That's right, if we found it, it, it means they never sent it. Sent to us. Cease and desist letters come from people hiding stuff. Hmm. Okay. And next we have this empty vial thing. Now to me, empty implies that it was once full. Same all the stuff we found, all the evidence. Blood stains, maybe? Filled with blood? Looks that way. Freaky. Some kind of ritual thing? Do I detect a hint of belief? Love a good ritual. Kind of fucked up that these guys know who we are, though. Okay. Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. They are a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real. Supernatch. Shit. See, you always say things like this, and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay. This is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? 
Okay, this could be some of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes the truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, I don't know. Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Oh. They have polar bears. It's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <sighs> Don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay. Do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay. Do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're going to say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on? Please. So you I don't want you to do anything. I want you to say what you have. Okay. So what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors. Emma Mountebank downloaded from her phone. Oh my God. Is this real? Well... <laughs> That is what we're here to discuss. But this isn't okay, given to the police, though. They gave shocked. it to the freaking podcast. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w if you downloaded photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than we are being told. Yeah? There's something else, too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa! Okay, what is that? It's her! The hag of Hackett's quarry! See? Full circle! Uh, what? Uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to explain I, I don't know, that. what's that thing? There's this thing, it makes your mind, you see faces and stuff. There's people, there, there's, Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, I don't need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though, I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Picks or didn't happen, right? Well, picks, so did happen. No, picks. You can fabricate experiences you can't. I need to, I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me, no, I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just fi find me a wall. I'll take a fork and just go to town. Wow. This what section might be modular because they're accounting for people. Well, to me, Maybe they don't pick up all the evidence. So I, this is probably going to be a really long podcast. Been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot. But it'd be unfair not to discuss. Why? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast. So we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton! Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin. Fur. Whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creatures supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I... Can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, 
Fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right, I am known for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man, you're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real, Occam's razor. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. So those kids, the ones who survived. Yeah. Why aren't they coming out with all this? Kids are always on the internet. Th these kids actually have something interesting to say. Why aren't they telling anyone? I don't know, but someone did come out with it. Whoever gathered all this info and submitted it to me. Right, do we know who this is? This could just be a teenager making fun of you. No, a teenager couldn't possibly do this. I think you're being cyberbullied. This is carefully curated information. Someone went into the depths of a dark mystery and retrieved all this information and gave it to me. Someone smart, someone clever, someone genius. And it's all been hushed. And if what we're looking at has any truth to it, then I'm not surprised. I think we've been contacted to expose it. So these kids who survived to this, they're just out there living their lives? I mean, that's that seems weird to me. I wonder what it took to keep them quiet. Whatever really happened, they'll be carrying it like a curse wherever they go. So you really still don't know who sent this to you? Nope, complete anonymity. But the photos, the way they're all set out, it looks like evidence, like they came from somewhere I don't know, official. Okay, turn it off. What, why? Why didn't you tell me about this before? What, uh, I've been telling you about this it This is now. actual stuff, Grace. We have to take this to the police. Okay, so, then you believe I it. don't know, maybe. You never believe anything. Why is this any different? Because it's starting to make sense, okay? Our name on that letter, the missing hikers, the family secrets. I, when you put it all together, it's certainly something. Someone's trying to tell us something. And we should probably stop recording this right now and tell the authorities, right? Heck no, it's just getting juicy. And who says we're not the authorities? Uh, I do. We're not the authorities. What, it's not like we have a moral duty to take this evidence to the authorities. We, we do. Teens acquitted. New evidence reopens Hackett's quarry case. New evidence brought forward by a podcasting duo meant all charges were dropped against teens arrested for the murder of Hackett of the Hackett family. It is now thought that the deaths were kazooed <laughs> by some kind of unidentified animal. Okay? Are you kidding me though? So if we didn't collect enough evidence, the freaking kids that we saved could have ended up in jail instead? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, I think I probably would have enjoyed that podcast a little bit more if it was shorter, to be honest. Like, I started zoning up by the end there. There was so much freaking filler. Oh, look at that. I'm it's back in the podcast up. section, and for some reason, the crow is in the pause menu. Interesting. Uh, we're back here because I got a request to look at the VHS covers, but look, it looks like there's more stuff for us to look at here, actually. Broken cage. Silas the wolf boy, he never left the woods, spending his days and nights living feral, nesting in his old cage and evading the wrath of the Hackett's. Mmm, now we get all the answers here. But in, um, in Eliza's vision of the fire, at first I thought Silas died because she seemed so heartbroken and sad, but she was just sad over him escaping? Why? Because she can't make more money off of him or what? That just seems a little bit like weird, right? Because normally, if she knows that her son's not dead, why not go look for him? No. We don't know anything about Silas. I wish we got to know a little bit more. We don't even know, like, normally is he um, a normal boy? How old is he? Anything, really. Newspaper headline scrap. Kaylee and Caleb started the fire, meant as a distraction to free Silas the wolf boy, whom they pitied. That's how all this started. Yes. Damaged memorabilia. The night of the fire is when Chris was bitten. This is where it began for him. Six years ago. Discarded signage? The Hackett's thought they'd gather all the remains of the burned sideshow harem scarum and dispose of it at the scrapyard. Oh, that's why it's there. They didn't do a very good job of it, because we found multiple posters in the, um, in the forests and all that. 
Is that it? Bloodied collar. Ian was a sheep. Yes, the camp mascot. Something slaughtered him down in the storm shelter. Hmm. Lodge renovation plans. The fact that Chris Hackett is asking campers' parents for donations means that these repairs may be more crucial than they first thought. Oh, okay. They really should have got that fixed. <laughs> that's a that's a hint. Kids, let her home. The ghost stories were true. The ghost of Eliza, the hag of Hackett's quarry, has wandered these woods for six years, looking for her lost baby boy. And she's the one who died. But her, in her own vision, she was alive. So maybe she was mourning herself by crying. Camp letter. Maybe that camp is in worse shape than the fees can cover. Probably. Okay, little flavor text here and there. Alright, I wonder what this was. Yeah. We got a pretty good bit of it. Missed a few. Well, you you win some, you lose some. Actually, we got quite a- Wait, we got all of the camp history. It's just the freak show fire. We're missing a few. Oh well. And then the VHS covers. These are pretty cool. Laura and Max. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. An Amrit Bajwa film. Who is Amrit Bajwa? Somebody who worked on the game? The video nasty. Five dollars! <laughs> Love at first sight. Journey through all the twists and turns of young love and discover just how much a relationship can endure. I helped him. We talked about how he couldn't go to college. I was supportive of Travis during their imprisonment. <laughs> That's not even related to Max. Okay, it's kind of random. Above the law. Travis is above the law. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel? We never got to see it. Hey, this one's one dollar. You'll never take me alive. A shot in the dark could come back to haunt you. With a long arm of law ever extending, whether it holds a gun or an olive branch at the end is up to you. Yeah, these ones... I'm kind of sad that like everybody in the Hackett's died. Okay, like Jedediah... I didn't mean to kill him, but his son killed him. But who I'm the saddest about is Caleb actually, because I totally... In that decision between going to Abby at the door, who has the silver bullets, and going to the kitchen for Caitlyn. I chose the kitchen because we knew there was a decoy there, but also I was hoping that by avoiding the silver bullet, we'd be able to keep Caleb alive, but then he froze to death anyway, so meh. A fool's errand. Five dollars, sale. Stupid is a stupid dies. Playing the fool has both vices and virtues, but all decisions lead to consequences. And if ignorance is bliss, well, does that make foolishness? Ooh, this one kind of reminds me of, like, um, Alan Wake. Down the rabbit hole. A film by Martin Clemmy. Who are these names? The individual people who worked on the game? Be careful what you find. I want to play a game. Something toys with you, but perhaps you can turn the tables by following a path unknown. Remember, findings that seem insignificant could well be your last hope for survival. Man, who knew that random little toy from so far back ended up helping? Playing with fire. Mmm, this one's creepy. Watch your step. Mmm. Find your footing or lose your life. Pieces of silver. Oh, very like, uh, not willing to reveal what's actually inside the tape. Mm hmm. Finders keepers. The boar. Losers weepers. Yeah. Distraction. Jed and Bobby, safe hunting, kids. Remember the golden rules of hunting. Never distract the hunter, never make assumptions on what you see, and never become the prey. Helping hand, one dollar. Go out on a limb. What's worse than risking life and limb? Choose be choosing between the two. Polish off those history books and delve into some medieval healthcare when a friend asks you to lend a hand. I kind of wish... Yeah, by the end there, we never got a chance to grow back Dylan's hand. Oh well, I guess. The white whale, consumed by obsession. When the chance to grasp all you ever wanted was sacrificing all you ever had, do you take it? Previously banned in 50 countries, an uncut presentation of a Liam Grice film. I didn't shoot Travis. I shot Chris. Curing his line of infection. Ryan survived. Uh, one thing that I kind of wonder if it actually made a difference throughout the game, that if it did, I wasn't really sure of, is 
Every time I did something, and then it would say something like, Oh, Ryan is irritated at Dylan. Does that stuff actually matter? Or was it just more like flavor text? I have no clue. Wonder if these people would just not work together sometime. Laura killed Silas, ending his line of infection and curing every living person who was bitten at Hackett's quarry. But we don't really have any information on how Silas became a werewolf himself. Team building, everyone said. Whatever doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Team building. Teamwork makes a dream work. Yeah, I love Caitlyn and Dylan. My faves. Caitlyn ignored the office door and ran to the kitchen. In hindsight, that might have been a little bit dangerous. Yeah, but if we open the door, what if Abby got killed? Jeez, man. Love's labor's lost. Till death do us part. Yeah. <laughs> All the cage doors open when Oh, so Nick Dude, Nick got the short end of the stick, man. They he basically just got trapped and then the cage opened and nothing happened after that. <laughs> Emma and Jacob were finally reunited in the woods. Jacob admitted to Emma that he sabotaged the minivan. Didn't mean anything, though. I mean, cool, nice that you did so, but... Yeah, I wish at the end, instead of a podcast, we kind of got like a Until Dawn thing where they were being interviewed. I feel like that would have been nice, but... Oh well. We got what we got, I guess. A pound of flesh. The final twist of the knife. A gift could be a curse or a blessing, depending on how you look at it. This must be about how Ryan turned. Yeah. Hmm. Ryan didn't even get to like feel out being a werewolf. He turned back into a human right away. Keepsakes. Cherish or perish. A cherished keepsake is worth dying for. Experience the power of nostalgia. It might just help you survive. Hopefully, it won't end up as something to remember you by. Don't be like that. Wait, so what was that about then? This meant nothing. Jacob picked up Emma's silver bracelet and then Emma noticed Jacob wearing it. I guess I must not have done the thing that led to this meaning something. Okay, sure. Alright, now we can go back. Yeah, even just looking at the branches here, I think we can tell that the strength of this game lies in the branchingness, and it's not really readily visible in one playthrough. But I'm guessing there's a lot of different ways this can go. Judging by the the little epilogue thing we got, anybody can be either alive or dead. So, for example, if all the counselors died and all the Hackets were alive, then probably that would be really different. For one, no teens would be getting charged for murder. But then I kind of wonder if anything would happen to the Hackets, or if Travis would just be Again, with the whole metaphor about how he's pulling everyone up, but everyone keeps falling down and they don't really care either way. It's been it's been quite a while since I've played a super massive game. I want to say the last one is Until Dawn and like, when did I play it? Quite a few years ago, but it's actually not the last one I played. Hidden Agenda. Hidden Agenda in like 2017 was the last super massive game I played and yeah, it's fun. It's fun once in a while. I really enjoyed this, although towards the end there, I did feel like Maybe you know, things were suddenly going really fast and I wish we got a little bit more resolution, but I'm happy enough with what we have now. Not all counselors were created equal. Uh, Nick, Max, even Caitlyn feels like these guys didn't really get too much and um, well, maybe that's related to how I played as well. Yeah, maybe if I played another way, then they would have more screen time. Hmm, who knows? Yeah, basically, this was really fun. And when I first played Until Dawn, I was genuinely scared a lot of the times, but uh, if I'm being honest though, for the quarry, I didn't really feel like I was scared, like, at all. I did scream. There were definitely things that startled me, but at no point did I really think, oh my god, this is so scary, I'm not gonna play anymore, which, um, maybe it's because it's not as scary as the other games, or maybe it's because I'm getting a little bit better at handling these things, so who knows? Who knows? Maybe I'll play more scary games in the future. Uh, do feel free to share with me any theories or comments you have on the quarry below. What did you think of it? Did you like it? And I guess with that said, this was Well Lens with the Quarry. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed playing it. And I will see you all in another place 
in another time. But hopefully not at a summer camp. Bye!